Hey everyone, uh, lots of live videos coming um, from me to you today. Lots of exciting things happening um, in the world of 31 and in the world of Kelsey. Uh, so, um, I wanted to ask you guys a question. Um, the title of this live feed is, Is Columbus Saturated? So, you guys know that I do not like to use the word saturated. Um, however, um, with our 31 home office being in Columbus, you would think that every single every place that you go, um, every single person is going to be carrying a 31 bag, and everybody knows about 31. Um, that's just what I assumed when I came here. Hi, Shana. Hey, Ashley. Uh, so I want to know, do you think Columbus is saturated with, um, hi Casey, with the pink bubble? Let me know, comment below. Do you think that, um, everything in Columbus is flooded with 31? I want to know what you think. Uh, so the answer to that obviously is no, um, so, uh, tonight my mom and I are in a hotel room. Uh, exactly, Shana, no way. Um, mom and I are in a hotel room. We are flying out of Columbus really, really early in the morning. Um, and we went down to the uh, restaurant here at the hotel. And the waitress asked what brought us into Columbus. And I said, you know, we have family about an hour and a half away. Um, we, we saw them, but today I came to see, um, 31 Home Office. I work for 31. And she looked at me, and I said, do you know what 31 is? She said, oh, is that a restaurant? And I just laughed, and I said, no, uh, no, it's not. And she was like, oh, is that, uh, is that, uh, those designer bags? And I was like, yeah, that's exactly right. And she was like, oh, you know, a, a few years ago, many years ago, my daughter gave me an apron, and I love it. And I just started chatting with her. Um, and she was like, you know, I really haven't bought anything lately. Um, and she, you know, she walked away to get uh, more uh, drinks for us or whatever, and more water, more tea, whatever. And um, she, and I was talking to my mom and I said, you know, people just automatically think that Columbus is saturated with consultants. And I think that that's crazy that right here you have somebody who isn't even really familiar with 31. So she comes back and, you know, she's like, I haven't bought anything in a long time. You know, I only, you know, bought when somebody had a party many years ago when 31 first started, which was in 2003. Um, so what do you think I did? I got her email address. Of course I did. I handed her a mini catalog and I just said, you know, if you um, don't have, you know, anybody that you're working with or you don't have a consultant in the area, um, obviously she did not. Um, and I said, guess what? A special announcement is coming and I shared with her um, that, you know, exactly, Shane, I get the email addresses. Uh, I shared with her, you know, hey, we have a huge outlet sale coming up. Huge, 70% off. And I was like, you know, if you don't mind sharing with me your email address, I will put you on the list so that you can get that link to that, that email. And here we go, right here on the back of my dinner order. Uh, she wrote her receipt down for me. So that goes to show you Columbus is not saturated. Um, there is no such thing as saturation. If the city where our home office is, um, if there's people in this city that don't know about 31, then you can run your business huge in the same small little country town that you live in or wherever you live. Um, no area is saturated. We don't use that word. Uh, so I hope you all are having a great day and I hope you've enjoyed my videos today. Um, from my visit with at home office and uh, all my doings in here in Columbus. And I hope this motivates you to reach out to somebody. Um, just because they're carrying a 31 product doesn't mean they're working with a consultant currently. They may have gotten an apron 10 years ago from 31. You just never know. So, hope you guys are having a great evening and I will talk to you soon when I'm back in Virginia. See ya.